Hey insiders, welcome to Creator Insider. My name is Abhinav. I'm a program manager at YouTube and this is your weekly news flash. This week we have just one update and that's about the membership status filters in comments. We recently launched the ability to filter comments in YouTube Studio based on the membership level of the user who posted. Do check it out and let us know what you think about this feature. So that was the only update. Let's get on to answering some of the questions that were asked in the previous videos. So for the very first question, Modest Nico asks, are you able to post multiple images in a community post on desktop yet? So we talked to the team and yes, they are bringing the ability to create multi-image posts on desktop very soon. So please stay tuned for that feature to come alive. The second question is from our How Discovery Works series. First thousand hours asks, if a video overperforms, will that hurt my channel? For example, if one very popular video on my channel is drawing a lot of people to my channel who may not like some of my core videos, will that hurt my channel overall? So we talked to Rachel about it and she said, that's a great thing. Keep the videos public. Overperforming videos really mean that new viewers are likely discovering your channel and the best way to retain these new viewers is to create more similar content that's relevant to their interests which makes them come back to your channel to watch more. Also know that our systems learn from video level signals as its job is to match viewers with videos they are most likely to enjoy. So the last question we'll answer this week is also from Rachel's discovery series. Suitcase Monkey asks, for adding a tag like things to do in London, does it make any difference to also add London and things to do as separate tags? And the answer to this question is, tags shouldn't have any significant impact on how your video performs. So I'd recommend focusing on the title of your video. Try searching for videos about things to do in London and see what the titles and thumbnails look like on the best performing examples to see if there's any trends or common themes between them. That's it for this week's news flash. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week with more updates from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators.